triple dog there yet. What's up, y'all? Coming here this time with something pretty different. Uh, still dealing with guns, but a lot different. We're talking about a couple of little BB guns this time. And some people I may know have no interest in BB guns whatsoever. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm not, I don't care much about BB guns. This is the only BB guns I own. They're probably the only ones I ever own. Uh, but I thought this was a neat little pack. Midway USA's got these on clearance right now for uh, $59.99 for both, for the, for the two pack. And uh, that's a pretty good deal because you can't even get the youth one for uh, the youth ones of 60 bucks minimum right now from where everywhere I've looked and seen them. Uh, but these are a few different reasons you might want to pick something like these up. Uh, number one, they're just nostalgia. You know, everybody, well, not everybody, but if you hadn't seen a Christmas story, you, you got to do yourself a favor and watch that. You know how old Ralphie, he was all about his red rider. Now, this ain't the exact one Ralphie had. You know, he had the compass and the, and the sundial in his stock. You can get that model, but uh anyway nostalgia it's a really really neat little movie and you know your red riders is that kind of the iconic bb gun uh second reason is uh and in this in my case this is this is the case too is uh if you got any really young kids or little young grandkids that's that you want to start getting into guns and gun handling gun safety uh i got i got a couple right now they really too way too young uh for the most part to start messing with guns yet but they won't be for long so be a nice fun little way to get get uh, get some youngins into guns and teach them about safety and all uh like I say, it's adult and a youth. Really, the only difference is barrel and all is the same size. All the way up through the receiver forward is the same size, from what I can tell. Uh, they got a little brass colored one on the brass colored uh, four end strap on the youth model and the black on the adult, I guess, maybe for easy identification. But where your size difference comes in and where it really matters is on the length of pull. So, back here on the adult, the length of pull on it, that's from the rear of the stock to the front face of the trigger. You're looking at about 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half inches. On the youth model, you're talking about 13 and a quarter. So two inches, two inches shorter length of pull. That don't sound like much, but that can make a big difference on length of pull, as you guys know, if you're into firearms at all. So yeah, neat little, neat little deals. Uh, really nice finish on them. They look nice and pretty. They got the, the red rider engraving on the stock. So that's pretty neat little uh saddle ring on the other side of it. It is uh, obviously lever action, single shot. Uh, got the cross the cross bolt safety on it uh, Got a nice ramp sight open adjustable rear sights Let's see what else not much else to say on it. Uh, that's your, your loading door there. You just open it up pour the BBs in It's got a 650 round capacity uh, it's 350 feet per second is the velocity on it So you ain't looking at nothing super strong, but you don't really need nothing stronger than that for a BB gun I mean, there's all kind of fancy ones out there full auto ones and co2 power That's another good thing. You don't have to worry about no co2 you buy a pack of BBs It's 2400 BBs with five bucks So get you a couple of little BB guns for 60 bucks and five bucks and then you, you uh, you're ready to roll uh, the next thing you want to think about is uh, some targets and uh, I'm gonna show you here what kind of targets you can put together for for no money to just a little bit of money show you what I recommend and what I think is pretty fun all right let's show you what some of what we got here uh, there's a lot of different targets out there little little targets they're, they're most of part inexpensive the most expensive target I got on this this table right here is 18 bucks and it's it's this big rocket shot thing I'll show you here in a minute uh, the rest of it, you know, you can go from all the way from a paper plate with a with a crosshair dot and stuff drawn on it um, up to the, like I say, this $18 little rocket shot thing. But uh, it's simple. Like, you don't have to spend any money, little to no money if you don't want. You, you know, I know a lot of people ain't going to want to put no big investment in the BB guns, but I don't anyway. But, yeah, anything as simple as a paper plate, if you want to if you want to up the, up the paper plate game, uh, Get you some of these little sticky splatter targets, shoot and see targets. They're real neat because obviously when you shoot them, it shows up a mark, like a yellow mark where you shot it. And then you got the little pasters that you can, it comes with the pasters there, you can paste back over it. So that's that's a really fun, fun thing because you can you can really see the reaction on it. In my opinion, the, the best and most fun targets are reactive. Anything that gives you some kind of reaction, some kind of visual, audio, some type of feedback. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm shooting just a standard old plate and, and target. You know that's that's fun to me, just because I like to shoot. But uh, you you want a a key? I found a key to getting people interested in shooting. Uh, is it's got to be fun. If it ain't fun, 
don't nobody want to do it who wants to do anything that's not fun you know what i mean especially not somebody new getting into something and their first experience is ah, this ain't no fun i mean it's all right but i mean you get them stuff that splatters and and moves and shakes and rings and blows up and and all that and then, then it's a fun it's a fun time you know uh so just get you a variety of targets you ain't got to spend no bunch of money but you want a variety of targets uh like i say the paper plates the little paper targets there and these are sticky backs so you don't have to put them on a plate you can stick them on a, a cardboard box even uh you know take your take your cardboard box that you get all your ammo in because i know we got plenty of them laying around <laughs> just use that box and paste it on the front uh but like i say yeah you got those you got the paper plates and stuff sticky targets um uh, you got uh got little targets like this this is a this is a little rubber swinging target that uh, i actually had had shooting actual uh firearms with but uh we ended up shooting a little rod that it came with so i just brought it home from the range and uh these little these old pole things i got some kind of flower little flower stand things that i had just laying around the garage here so repurposed them basically uh got something like that i think that's that was six seven bucks maybe uh another really good one is uh shooting uh clay pigeons these things you can get a box of uh 90 or 100 of them for under 10 bucks and these are really nice because they're reactive uh you can set them up on i took some of them same same plant deals and just bend them in a way that holds them for me like that so stick them in the ground you can set them up on you don't have to have no sticks like this you can find you a stump you can find you some logs sticks whatever you got you don't have to spend any money i mean it's like i say the, the spend you a little bit of money and get something a little funner to shoot it's a lot a lot funner uh but yeah you got the, the clay pigeons it's real good i recommend them definitely because they're cheap and you got you get a bunch of them uh i mean enough here here this is a, a raw egg painted pink right out the refrigerator you know that's that's a great target eggs for a bb gun is a great target because you can paint them up and you don't have to paint them but i'd rather shoot a pink egg than a white egg uh you, you paint them up stick them out there set them set them on something and shoot them watch them splatter some real reactive there those are nice uh you get something like this i got that from walmart uh this is actually you can shoot this with 22 rim fire and probably even nine millimeter uh it wouldn't tear it up too bad but it's made for like 22 rimfire but i you use the, the bb guns on it you see these swing real nice so you can paint them back up see where your marks are uh this was i think i want to say 12 13 bucks you know folds up sticks in the ground so that's something really fun because like i say you can see it moving here it, hear it pinging uh and then this thing i thought was really neat i picked this up off of amazon it's a daisy rocket shot and this is actually a more of a two-person target so i won't really get be able to show you the, the the real fun of it uh today i'm by myself uh but basically what you do is you take your a tin can and this spring-loaded deal here down in the bottom it's got a catch and when you this little crossbar here has got a catch on your yellow target and it, it locks down under that and holds the yellow target forward when you ping it it launches the can up in there then if you got somebody with you they can shoot the can or vice versa but yeah you just lock it on down in there i'll show you once we once we get outside but that's really neat that was 18 bucks come with the the rebar pole and i mean it's a, it's a really nice stout little target real thick uh good good metal all metal target so yeah i thought that was really neat and that's really fun for two people like i say because yeah and, and even 10 cans by themselves everybody knows i mean it's fun to shoot 10 cans with a bb gun uh so yeah those are those are some nice ones uh and now none of the all these i would recommend putting outside with the exception of your paper targets because i know some people are like it's man it's too cold to be going outside doing anything so if, it, if you're too cold this is what you do you take your a cardboard box uh like i say i know we got plenty of them from ordering guns and ammo and parts take your cardboard box fill it with whatever this one i just actually left filled with some of this uh packing packing mess that they pack stuff with and then uh on the back side here inside of it put you a, like a towel an old towel old t-shirt or something this right here i shoot inside you can shoot this sucker inside the house uh just shoot it in boom goes through the front and catches your bbs and it's got the added benefit of you can hear a few in and out a bb catcher so <laughs> there's that if you don't want to go outside or if it's too cold or raining or whatever and you're bored and you want to shoot you some some bbs inside but anyway I, I recommend these targets like i say get you a nice little variety make it fun 
and uh we'll go outside and i'll show you a little setup and uh see what see what y'all think about it all right y'all come on all right y'all got us uh got our little red rider loaded up uh just dumped a bunch in there like i say open up just dump them on in there got us some targets set up out there as you can see a little nice variety that big red one out there that thing's uh about 11 12 yards probably the rest of them so the rest of them is anywhere from uh five four four five six yards so you don't want to put anything too far you're going to give yourself a little bit of challenge but especially for new folks you don't want to make it too rough on them where they ain't having no fun so uh if that don't look like fun then to you then i don't know what it is because i mean that's it's just fun shooting's fun target shooting's fun of any kind so we're gonna put a put a couple rounds out there one thing definitely you always want to wear glasses when you're shooting these bb guns uh this ain't like lead you should wear glasses anyway shooting anything but definitely with these bb guns these are steel bbs so they ricochet they will ricochet right off a tree even going you know it ain't going but 350 feet per second so you gotta watch what you're shooting with them uh don't don't shoot steel uh shoot at your own risk i should say because i'm shooting obviously a couple of little steel targets but just make sure you wear glasses if nothing else because you don't because let me tell you what you'll shoot your eye out kid all right that's my only dad joke and we'll get to some shooting i'm gonna zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see these targets i know y'all don't care about looking at me all right moved y'all in zoomed in so you can maybe see these targets a little better sun's going down so it ain't it ain't the greatest uh lighting out here but we're gonna put a put a few bbs in them targets see what we can do uh we'll start by knocking the old pepsi can right there off the cardboard huh oh yeah easy easy all right let's go on out to one of the paper plates huh let's get that top one. Oh yeah oh yeah looks like she's shooting a little bit high and right but that might have been me i don't know if y'all can see might can oh there we go So you can you can see those which now the bottom one the regular paper plate i can probably see too let's see what we get really can't see that as great that's what i was seeing see i can see these yellow marks on this black one. Oh, that was high you can probably see that for sure i pulled that there we go moving her on down I mean, you ain't talking about a you ain't talking about a thousand dollar ACOG or nothing, so you know it's, it's practical accuracy is good enough. All right, let's see. Let's hit these little pinkies down here. Get a little. So you get a little ring and a little movement off that. A little tiny ping, not much, but let's see what we can do again. There we go. Definitely shoot a little high. Let's try that middle one. Get brave here. Oh, miss that. Try it one more time in the middle there. Now I shot the box. All right, let's get a let's get one to clay birds. See, I shot right through that. Takes a few. So you can see me shooting that clay bird. Those ain't really all the best, but you can get a lot of shots on them, and eventually they'll uh they'll break open. All right, let's get an egg. How about an egg? Let's try that. There we go. Hey, see that eggs? Eggs a real nice target. You get a good, nice, good explosion out of that. Uh, like I say, then we got this rubber one over here. Let's see. Yep. See, you can see it move a little bit. You know, you're talking about BBs, so you got to keep that in mind with your with your target selection. Uh, make sure they're gonna move for you. It's like those those pigeons there. See, I put a, I've got a few holes in them pigeons, but. It ain't breaking on me yet. There we go. We knocked the middle out of it that time. Alright, let's get the other egg. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Oh, I took the I took the top off of it, I believe. Let's see. I don't know where I'm at on that. Let's see, let's see. Well, missed him again. I'm blaming the sun, guys. I don't know where I'm shooting on that egg. There we go. We smat. We splattering him. Just didn't want to bust open like that, like that other one, I guess. 
All right, let's see. Let's try another another clay pigeon here. Let's get that one a little further back. Yeah, see, you got they go right through that pigeon until you start putting a, a few of them on it. I always took the top off. It's shooting a little bit high. There we go. See, you want that reaction. That's that's the best. That's the best target. Something that reacts. Let's see if we can finish that egg off. There we go. There we go. All right. A little little metal ones. A couple more. Yeah, it's got a nice little ping. Those little metal ones that's hanging on. Metal on metal always has a nice little ping. All right. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the middle one now. I think I figured out what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. All right. I got her. She's shooting a little bit high. All right. Let's take this little pigeon in the front here out. Went right through that or missed it all together. Let's see what we get. There we go, splitter open. Alright, let me show you this daisy rocket shot. You see it over there on the right. So watch that can launch up when you shoot that bottom target. Oh, not hard enough, maybe. Oh, wanted to. It's getting ready to go, guys. Lock her in too tight, maybe. There, there she went. You see, that's fun with two people when you launch that up in the air, the second person can shoot it. But uh, that gives you a good idea. Let's see if we can knock that rest of that pigeon off here. She's wanting, she's wanting to go one more time. Hey, there it went. All right, guys. But as you can see, fun stuff, fun stuff, I think, especially if you got some young'uns out. Or See, like that, that plate back there, you can see my shots on that one, nice. I like that. But yeah, good stuff, guys. All right, y'all. Uh, I guess that's it for the day. Had us a little bit of fun. Hope I gave y'all some ideas. Uh, like I say, it's, I think it's a real nice thing. Some people might not care nothing about BBs, uh, but I think it's fun, especially fun for the little ones. I mean, you put something like this in their hands and you, you out here having fun with them. They, they, they really enjoy it, I'm telling you. And uh, you can teach them a little something. Teach them about gun handling. Teach them about gun safety. And uh, get, get some new, new people into this, into this thing. The more, the more people into guns and firearms of any kind, the better. And Lord knows you can teach them a whole lot more valuable stuff than they're learning in some of these schools nowadays. So... Uh, just make sure you practice safety with it, teach them to be safe from the very start, and, and uh, we'll have some more some more good gun owners out there. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it maybe a little bit. Uh, if y'all got any questions or if you got any suggestions with some more targets or anything like that, uh, definitely definitely let me know because uh, I'm all about shooting of any kind. And uh, uh, Friday, I'm going to probably head up to my real, my main shooting range, and uh, we're going to shoot some pistols and one of the pistols I just finished building and uh, probably some rifles, probably shoot a little tan right, and blow some things up. So uh, stay tuned, uh, check it out if y'all interested at all. And uh, y'all make sure you stay safe, stay prepared, and we'll see y'all later.